Hi everyone, let me first of all thank the organizer for giving me the chance to talk today. And uh, I'm going to talk about Quarter BPS Operator, which is based on uh, this work done in collaboration with my supervisor, Agnese Bissi and Andrea Manenti. Okay, uh, now I'm going to tell you what is the main idea of the conformal bootstrap, which is um, the uh, starting point of our work. The idea of the conformal bootstrap is that one can just use symmetries and consistency conditions in order to study conformal field theories. The symmetries and consistency conditions we are looking at are, for example, conformal symmetry, unitarity, or and some properties of OP, for example, convergence and associativity. Uh, the advantage of this way of looking at things is that uh, one does not need uh, Lagrangians or uh, does well, it, it does not rely on any perturbative expansion. So to give you an idea, let me consider um, four identical scalar operators of dimension delta phi. Their four-point function can is just fixed by conformal symmetry to take this form. So having a prefactor depending on the position of these operators uh, time a function of these cross ratios, u and v. And uh, this uh, this function can be expanded in uh, conformal blocks in this way, and this means that this function can be written as a sum over all possible exchange operator or delta L with their OP coefficients lambda delta L. Uh, now, as I was telling you before, we are considering four identical scalar operators, so it should not matter if we are considering the OP between operator 1, 2, and 3, 4, or if we consider instead 1, 4 with 2, 3. Here I've depicted this, namely that the conformal partial wave in the S channel should be the same as the conformal partial wave in the T channel. And this equation, which is known as the bootstrap equation, is really powerful. It can be, using, can be used numerically or, for example, analytically, and that's what we focused on. The idea of the analytic bootstrap is that uh, one can study this equation in a particular regime, namely the one in which the external operators are null separated, which is the same as having these uh, two cross ratios to be small. And uh, in this regime, this equation became, I mean, we can study this equation and it is super powerful. To tell you why it is powerful, okay, let's consider the same equation, but now in terms of G. Uh, this means that GUV should be the same as this prefactor, depending on UV times GVU, which is the exchange of one with, uh, one with three. And uh, here I reported the, conformal, the expansion in conformal blocks and I've just uh, stripped out the identity. This is this one. So we have that this equation should be equal to this equation, but notice that on the left-hand side, we have a power divergence when we consider the small V limit because we have this one over V la delta phi. And this diversion should be uh, reproduced by this sum. But the conformal block, when uh, we take the V limit, they just scale as log V. So just by studying this equation, one can predict the existence of uh, an infinite tower of uh, double trace operators uh, or double twist operators alleged spin, because just by summing these infinite uh, operators, we can indeed reproduce this divergence. And uh, so, in words, in any CFT, we find the spectrum, which means that we can have an identity here. Crossing symmetry is enough to predict uh, the existence of double twist operators, which have this form. But these are the same operators that you can find just by studying generalized free field. So, at large spin, um, every CFT is generalized free field. Uh, this was just the idea of the conformal bootstrap. Now, let me just briefly tell you what my poster is going to be about. In our work, we have studied quarter BPS operators in four-dimensional and equal four super young mills and at large n and large tooth coupling, so the supergravity approximation. We focus on these operators because uh, uh, people have studied for a very long time just all BPS operators and lots is known about them. But then it can be interesting also to study quarter BPS operators because being less protected, they can also be richer somehow. Moreover, they are uh, generally double trace when we consider large N limit. So they allow us also to study composite operators on the gravity side. In our work in particular, we have uh, studied four point function. To do that, uh, one has to um, understand how to deal to the SU4 tensor structures exchange in the OP. Then we have used the fact that these operators are sure when expanded in n equal to super multiplet. So we can use the chiral algebra to solve super conformal world identities. And uh, once we have this protected information, what we have done is that uh, trying to study new OP data for the operators exchange in the OP. And thank you very much for your attention.
Thank you very, very much. Okay, do you have any, any questions or observations? The, we can, okay, the idea is that uh, once we can select the assured operators in n equal two, we can, uh, I mean, the, um, the protected part is just fixed by free theory in this sense. We can use the fact that it's holomorphic and then we can study. Uh, yes. Okay, very good. Any other questions? If not, we can thank Julie again.